My name is Dr. Sahil Khanna, and I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester. My primary interests include C. difficile infection, both research and clinical care. C. difficile infection is the most common cause of diarrhea in hospitalized adults. The CDC estimates that there are probably about a half a million to one million cases of C. difficile infection in the United States every year, and there are an estimated 14,000 deaths from C. difficile infection in the United States every year. Research done at Mayo Clinic and other places has shown that over the last decade, there has been a tremendous increase in the incidence, severity, and a difficulty in the treatment of this infection. The typical patient who gets C. difficile infection is an older adult who is hospitalized and has been exposed to antibiotics. However, recent research at Mayo Clinic has shown that this infection is now also seen in the community in patients who have not been exposed to antibiotics. Patients with C. difficile infection experience symptoms of abdominal pain and diarrhea. In addition, they can also develop fever. This infection is diagnosed with stool tests, which can be an enzyme immunoassay or an EIA or a PCR, which is a polymerase chain reaction. Most laboratories in the country use an EIA-based test, which tends to be less accurate. We here at Mayo Clinic are using a PCR or a polymerase chain reaction-based test which tends to be more accurate for C. difficile infection. The treatment of C. difficile infection includes stopping the offending antibiotic. In addition, patients can be placed on other drugs, which ironically are antibiotics, which help treatment of C. difficile infection. Metronidazole, although not FDA approved, is the most common treatment for mild to moderate C. difficile infection. Other drugs that are available for C. difficile infection, which are FDA approved, are oral vancomycin and a new drug called oral fidaxomycin. Despite all medical treatment for C. difficile infection, recurrent infection tends to be a major problem. About one-fourth of patients with C. difficile infection tend to have recurrent infection, and about 5% of everybody who has C. difficile infection tends to have multiple recurrences.